that is just the screen. Oh, I think I've gone wrong somewhere. Oh, this was in 90. The uh, angle overlay on the angle on gradient overlay wants to be set to 90. I got that bit wrong. So make sure that is set to 90, not 0, like I said originally. And that's it. That's the best I'm doing. Mm. Not really well. Okay, so now we're going to select the rounded rectangle tool and set the radius to 3 and um, draw out the actual screen. So we just drawn the border, now we're drawing the actual screen. So try and keep it the same distance on all edges and it's going to be a gradient overlay we'll change that in a second ok now we're going to change it so um, go to effects now double click um, you're going to tick inner shadow turn that on uh, that wants to be multiply 20% I'll just put that in 20 your distance wants to be 0 this wants to be 31 this wants to be 10 and the noise wants to be 0 uh, yeah ok um, now inner glow is next so tick inner glow, go into inner glow ok for inner glow then the colour wants to be white now up here white uh, that wants to be 20 again this looks to overlay so we check something, multiply. I don't think I've changed it. Oh, I have. Uh, inner glow, overlay, opacity 20, zero, white, softer edge 38. This one's we set to. Uh, two pixels, uh, 50, zero. And then we want to go to gradient overlay. Um, this one's just in, uh, normal 15. Gradient wants to be black to white and reverse does not want to be checked. Uh, reflected, align, 0, 100. Uh, we want to make a quick change to this black to white. Change this black to being about here. And that is about it. And we should get something that looks a bit like this um, now we're going to move on to adding the shine a bit to the screen so uh, create a new layer above the screen layer by clicking this button so you get layer 1 I get the elliptical marquee tool and drag out a shape like the one I'm about to do now um, oh control shift I to uh, invert the selection and then we're going to hit D X and then alt backspace okay so now you've inverted it and you have the white thing around it you're going to go up to layer um, create clipping mask and it should have given you this now lower the opacity on layer 1 control D to deselect lower the opacity down to about 20 15, 21, 21's fine, I can't even bother to make it exactly 20, oh, ok, so and now you can make any tweaks you want, just by erasing parts of it, ok, so we've got that now, um, now we're going to add the iPod wheel scroller thing, uh, this bit down, just down here, ok, so the first thing we're going to do is, uh, grab the ellipse tool, tool, Take up and send, set that to none, and the color wants to be set to this E E uh, E F F E uh, zero F three. No, it doesn't. E E oh E E F F zero F three, and it gives you a nice gray. 
and holding shift you're going to drag out a circle about the size of the scroll wheel and now I can move it quickly with this if I align exactly with control A and then align, oh, align exactly with center that's a good height as well ok now we're going to get another circle click it again um, this time we're going to click this button here what's going on, click this button uh, wait a sec ok so we're going to go onto the elliptical tool again and click on this layer, the layer mask click the subtract from selection tool holding shift draw a circle doesn't matter where it is at the moment we can move that now I'm going to quickly turn on rulers now with um, by clicking this and then clicking I mean grid showing me the grid I'm going to now go to the direct select tool so, oh, whoops select the inner circle here and line it up precisely with the middle and then move it down to uh, be aligned with the circle and then just make that look right uh, that looks fine maybe a little bit of tweaking could be done Uh, okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna spend loads of time getting that perfect. Just that's fine. And now go off that selection tool and click that. Okay, so now we got the scroll wheel. Um, okay, next step is to add the menu, little word menu up here. So we're gonna go to the text tool and I've all set in here. The font wants to be Kandara. If you don't have it, just use New Times Roman. Set it to bold, 19.5 and smooth. And type menu, all in capitals. Menu. Oh, and the font color wants to be this. Um, wants to be set to this. A, uh, 9AA0AE. Okay, and that's what the font color wants to be set to. It hasn't done it, so I'm going to quickly do that again. And again, I think, because I. Oh, that worked fine there. Here you go. Okay, and then we're going to get the height we want, and then Control A, line to vertical center, which looks bang on there. Okay, so um, once we've done that, we're now going to want to create the fast forward symbol. So we're going to return on grids. We got that back on. Zoom in quite a lot, um, and go to the paths tool, um, making sure you have that uh, the thing draw tool on, and quickly draw out a triangle like so, and then color wants to be set to not black, um, the foreground colour wants to be set to the same as the text, so um, kind of this colour, or the exact same colour, okay. And just uh, now just shrink that down. Um, shrink that down to about this big. And align it perfectly on that line. So I think that's perfect. Oh no, this line's perfect center. No, it isn't. Here. Here. Okay. Now we're going to duplicate that layer. I'm going to click apply first. We're going to duplicate that layer and move it across using the arrow keys until we get it where we want it. About here. And then we're gonna um, go, uh, just go off that. Um, so we've got our two triangles. We're gonna go to the line tool, which is line tool, and 
Oh, colors fine, don't change that. 